This is the X300 from Lenovo. And I'd understand if you were to go, so what? It's a ThinkPad. I've seen a ThinkPad before. But the reason why it's special is in the way I'm holding it. It's only 1.5 kilograms light and only 22 millimeters thick. So does that make it a rival to something like the MacBook Air? Well, it does have an LED backlit screen, 13.3 inches, just like the MacBook Air, widescreen, high resolution. It's gonna be great for watching movies. And on the subject of movies, I'm gonna show you it has something that might not be familiar to you MacBook Air users, an optical drive, and it manages to pack that in in that incredibly thin chassis. It does this by having a 64 gig solid state drive as standard not an upgrade like the Air. And it clocks in at £2,000, but that's still £28 cheaper than the Air with the solid state drive. It also has great connectivity, three USB ports, Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, but it also has a 3G card built in with HSDPA as standard. Now that's going to be great for surfing the web on the move. Now there are a few more points I'd like to show you about the X300 that you might not get from a stat sheet. Firstly, is its ability to lie completely flat. Not sure why you want to do that. Perhaps you want to warm out your laptop. Um, second point is it's got fingerprint scanning technology for extra security. And this Think Vantage button. Now, this is not new to ThinkPads. We've seen it before. But I just think everything on a PC should be as easy as pressing this button, then pressing back up now. Hey, presto, your computer's backed up. Easy as a Mac. And it's also got this largely ineffectual light up the top for when you're in darkness. A nice touch or useless, you decide. The downsides of the Lenovo, apart from this very dinky touchpad here, are just mainly cosmetically. It is an ugly laptop. Look at this keyboard. I haven't seen a keyboard like this since I was last using MS-DOS. It's even got a track point. A track point I neither want nor need one. But it has a certain ring of seriousness about it that I like. It's for the hardcore, high demanding business user on the move. It's not speedy enough to replace your desktop, but it's a good everyday computer for someone who wants a lot of performance. So that's the X300. Just remember that beauty is on the inside.